Cloud stocks experienced a good run in 2020. Datadog is no exception. The stock price for Datadog has more than doubled since its debut in 2019. And if you missed out, the best days for this cloud monitoring platform may still come. Datadog was started to build a real-time data integration platform to turn chaos into insights. The platform added infrastructure monitoring in 2012, application performance monitoring in 2017, log management in 2018, and user experience monitoring in 2019. But the platform continues to grow with the recent acquisitions of Squeal and Timber. So is Datadog going to continue to grow? And is Datadog a good investment? Let's take a look. Datadog products are winning lots of new customers. It added 3,700 customers in 2020, a 35% gain. It now has about 14,200 customers. The existing customers make up a solid portion of revenue growth. 72% of customers use two or more of its products, which is up from 58% a year ago. And 22% of customers are using four or more modules, more than double the rate from the end of 2019. This is a big part of why the company has been able to post 50% plus revenue gains over the last three years. This also includes the growth of its large contingent of $100,000 plus revenue customers. The market for cloud monitoring software is fairly new, but it's not small. Datadog has $604 million in trailing 12-month revenue. With an overall market of $35 billion, there's plenty of room to grow. Datadog spent $210 million in 2020 on research and development and $213 million on sales and marketing. Additionally, its new acquisitions are enhancing the platform's capabilities and expanding the market as well. The company had a $16.7 million loss for 2020, but the balance sheet with $774 million in cash and marketable securities will enable the company to continue to grow for many years. So, is Datadog a buy or is it going to the dogs? Well, let's take a look at our charts. And we're now looking at a weekly chart that goes back to 2019. And the symbol for Datadog is DDOG. For disclosure purposes, I do not hold any shares of Datadog at this time. So, the low in early March of 2020 came down there, and then we rose all the way up through here. It wasn't a straight line, but it's a pretty good increase, given that uh, it looks like we may start to bottom here around that $80 per share mark. In the meantime, they had a pretty good roller coaster ride, but it does have somewhat of a decent pattern up and down, and now we're on the downside, so we're looking for a bottom and a basing. Here in the volume looks fine, and into the Mac, you can see the roller coaster ride that has had here recently. But we're heading on down with the fast line moving toward that zero line. And the slow line is trailing. But I would imagine that we're going to have a bottoming and basing here in this area within, say, the next few months or so. So it's not quite time for a data dog, which means you have plenty of time to conduct your due diligence. Moving down here into the histogram, you can still see the acceleration moving on down here. So you want to wait for that to, say, subside and maybe turn up. Again, it may take uh, several weeks to a few months. Into the price rate of change, it looks like uh, things are still moving on the downside, but relatively slowly. We're near that zero line, which is uh, somewhat favorable. Moving here into the relative strength, this is a bit weak there at 31.20, so you definitely want the RSI to turn up. Again, that could take a few weeks to a few months. Stochastics still on its way down, as well as the Williams. The Williams does look like a little bit of a bottoming and basing here in this area, but that's pretty early. Go back here. And you might look for a formation like that here in the near future, but you can see that this bottoming and basing took at least a month, if not longer. 
So you still have time. Once again, back up to the price chart. It's a bit early for Datadog. However, I think it has the proper characteristics of a high flyer. But as usual, conduct your due diligence. And for today, that's Chewdog Charts. Thank you.